Hey, welcome to this video. Matthew McDonald here. I'm going to walk you through the features in the WP Instant Leads in this video. And uh, it's good to pick this up so you know how it works and then you won't be getting stuck along the way and you'll know uh, exactly what to do. Now everything's pretty straightforward laid out but there is quite a few things behind the scenes that you can use uh, how to actually improve your searching experience. First of all, we'll go through the features here without the map feature and then I'm going to add the map and we'll just build up on it. So the first field here is for your keywords. You can put in multiple different keywords and if you're going for a large number of leads then you can just separate those keywords by a comma. So a keyword accountant might be a good one as an example and whatever your niche, whatever the market you're after or your ideal prospect, uh, then you can use those keywords. Now coming along here, we've got phone. If I click that, it put, makes the phone required, which means that only results that have a valid phone are gonna be listed in my leads. Now the cool thing about these three options here, we've got phone, email, and website, is you can actually switch these on, on and off anytime and it's still gonna, it's gonna have access to all the leads, but by switching these, it's gonna filter them and, and we'll have a look at that in action in a moment. We've also got the eco mode. The eco mode is part of the map search and I'm gonna cover that when we get into the map. And basically now we can just hit search and we'll see, we'll get about 500 results with the single keyword here. So here we can see our results, we're getting 470 results and if we would select the phone filter, now we can see the results are 278. So it's filtered out any results without a phone number and then if you have multiple field options, you can see it's trimming down our results and finally, if you need all these fields to contact them, uh, then you can see we're down to 199 leads. So you can turn those on and off. You can turn them on and off before the search, after the search, during the search. If you're working with really large numbers, you might find your browser kind of freezes up a little bit when you get into the thousands of leads, especially after 5,000 leads. Uh, and you can al always pause the search and export those leads along the way if you're not sure your browser's gonna handle it. Let's keep going. I don't wanna side rail too much. Here we've got the different fields options. So basically you're always gonna pretty much have the name. You've got the option here if you want the address, the phone, the email, the website, the Facebook page. And now this is getting pretty wide so you can scroll sideways there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these off so it's easy to demonstrate. I've just got the name and the category. And here we've also got a trash can option. So let me first filter these results so we get some nice looking results. By clicking the trash can, we can individually get rid of leads. And if you accidentally get rid of some leads, you can scroll down the bottom here and you can restore those leads from your trash can like that. Now once you've gone down and you've reviewed your leads or you're happy with the results and you've selected which fields you wanna be exporting, then we can scroll down to the bottom here and just click export and that'll open up the download window and you'll be able to name your leads, whatever you want and save them to your computer. Now let's go on to the map search here and I'm gonna just select here map search to turn it on. And now what I'll do is I'll clear these results so we can see the difference. So just clearing those results and we do have restore previous session if you reload the page or come back later and you wanna continue where you left off, you can always just click restore previous results. Now here we've got a map. And if you know your map, it's gonna be good and, and helpful. I've got the US here, but you're not restricted to the US and you've got basic map tools here. We can zoom out and zoom into different locations. 
and we can do lead searches anywhere in the world. We can go to Netherlands. And the way we perform a lead search is we select place search targets. Let's cover this tool now. So basically you can, when place search targets is active, we can select different locations that we want to search for our particular keyword. Now accountant keyword in Europe is not going to do very well. Um, in England that would do fine. So you want to have just a relevant keyword to whatever region you're looking at. And if you want to get rid of your search targets, while the place search target is active, you can actually click it to toggle them. And if you have lots of different ones here and you want to get rid of all of them, you can double click the place search targets and it will get rid of all your search targets. If you do that by accident and you want to bring them back, just double click it again and it will restore your search targets. Now I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to do some searches here in London. And we can zoom in a bit more. And I'm just going to place a couple of search targets here and we'll see this in action. So what I'll do is I'll put two keywords in so you see it actually does multiple different searches to cover all the keywords in all the different locations. So I've got accountant and lawyer there. I'll leave these ones off for now. And we'll go ahead and perform a search. And we can see our opportunities are going up here and you can see the results are building up down, down the bottom. If you want to see the opportunity pins, we can just click show opportunities. And now we can see the pins coming up where those opportunities are. Also, you can click these pins. So if we click them here, You'll get a quick info on that particular lead. You can check out the email, the Facebook page and the website. You just missed the phone number there and the image as well as well as their address and the country. You can also remove, remove that lead from your list if it's not what you want. So you could actually go through them like this as well. And if you want to zoom in, you just click it a second time. It's going to zoom in. And then you can see, see those results. Now, we've got 1,081 leads here. And if we like what we see here and we want to keep searching without repeating our searches, that's when the eco mode comes in handy. So by turning the eco mode on, it's going to skip all previous searches that you've done so that you're just looking for new leads. Now that includes any searches you've done at any time. So if you're starting a new campaign, what you can do is you can actually clear the eco search by double clicking it and it'll say eco cleanup. Click it again and now it's cleared the eco, the history search. So if we have this selected now and I do a search, we're not going to get any more results because we've already searched these locations. It is getting, it did find a couple more, which is unusual. Now, because eco mode was turned on after I started searching, it wasn't actually tracking my searching. So now that it's on, if I do another search, it's just going to tell me I've already searched everything, all my pins. So if I was to add another pin, let's add another two pins, with the eco mode on, when I search now, it's only going to search the new locations. And this way you can really build out your lead database much faster without repeating searches that you've already done. So with your opportunities, you can turn the pins off there if, if they're kind of obstructing your view. You've got that available there. Now, just before we finish off, we've also got a full screen mode, which is my favorite one. And you can actually search your leads in full screen. You have slightly different controls down the bottom here, but you'll have all the same buttons and you can see your leads here. So in the full screen mode, it's really nice to work. You can just go ahead 
and keep expanding your territory and then you can choose to search and we can see now it's searching for opportunities I can turn the pins on here so I can actually see see what's going on so as our numbers going up here it's also adding those to our export list so when I come out of this full screen mode all those leads are going to be available to me so I might want to zoom around with those same keywords I can also change the keywords and if I was to change the keyword now with eco mode on it will just take the new keywords and still research all the previous locations where I haven't searched with that keyword. So that's pretty smart. Let's try and do that. Let's search for an SEO service. So I'm adding that to my search list and now it's actually going to all my pins because that's a new search for those particular locations and it's performing that search. So we can come back out of the full screen mode here. Closing that. And here I can see I've got my 2000 leads ready to go. So that's how you can get started with searching for leads. Everything is pretty straightforward. And basically if you have your keywords and you place your targets, you're ready to go. If you're not getting any results and you're wondering what's going on, you might have already searched that area. So you can either turn off this eco search or you can double click it and then it says eco cleanup, click it again and now you've cleared the history. So if we would search this, it would actually search all those locations again. So off you go, go and get yourself some leads.